all. But now let's get into um Honkai Soro special program because it's gonna be taking probably a little bit since it is fifty something minutes. If it was like thirty something, twenty something minutes, it probably wouldn't been me taking that long reaction reacting to it. But it's fifty, it's gonna probably take longer. We're gonna see. But yeah, so y'all get y'all snacks and enjoy me <laughs> commentating and <laughs> when eyeing over characters. <laughs> so yeah, let's um get into and let's get into it. Oh yeah, also too, I haven't seen anything on the special program. I try to say um not look at Twitter. Well, I well, I did go on Twitter, but I tried not to anything that was honkai. I was like, oh, can't see it. It's so y'all, it's so hard to see um not to see stuff on Twitter. If you obviously um be following everything on honkai and Genshin horrorverse in general, it's hard to not see stuff. Three hours. I don't know about three hours. <clears throat> oh, hello. The buffering, child. Long buffer. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Cheep. Cheep, cheep, cheep. I'm not Robin, Chow. Cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, this is so cute and corny, and y'all know I love corny cheese in this ate it up. <gasps> They're saying happy birthday to uh, to um Honkai since it's the anniversary. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Trailer for two point two. Let's go. Let's see what's happening. Flash. Panacone's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The singer Robin, famous throughout the cosmos, has announced in a recent press conference that she will release a new album for the festival. It's for Mikhail. <gasps> I might be saying some some things I shouldn't be saying about this character when we get to them, but but we seeing them in this trailer. And so for yeah. the future of Panacone. Mama him go. Everyone. Sunday, March. Let's Firefly. deal with these thugs first, and then we'll talk about how to deal with you. Not this cowboy music. I cannot. <laughs> Here's your final report. Everyone, are you ready? Finally, you've arrived. <gasps> Everything is ready. It's time to step on stage. Robin! She's so pretty! This is our final hope. Oh, why that gave me chills, yo? Oh, y'all know I love me some music, obviously. Again, the beginning of the streams be taking so long, me be jamming out to music with y'all. Wow, <laughs> in the start stream. But yeah, oh, that gave me chills. It touched my soul. This is my order. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. Like fireflies to a flame, my feet get dead. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, is that Jinyu, um, Jinyuin? I always keep conf confusing Jin Yu Wu and Jin Yu Win. That's Jin Yu and that's Jin Win. <laughs> he got the Lightning Lord, and then there's um Dong Hung. In this case, Dong Hung Ababa de Lune, since he's in his um godly form. Uh, they all uh, look at them fighting together. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, so did we use the um the J Abacus to call upon him since he's in here? Since um Jin Wu's here. Do you win? Brother, do you think 
Oh, this colors will fade away. Oh, the, oh, I wanted to read that. Go back. Then wait, then, then wait to weep. That's what it's called. Okay. Oh, look at the trap. Look at not. But I've been seeing the traveler. I mean the trailblazers. They're in like a new um. Let me. They guess you got a new um. They got hats on. They got like top hats. Not put the lotion away. <laughs> Lotion's only using for moisturizing. I don't know what you talk about. I'll waste no good lotion for that. <laughs> if y'all didn't get the um codes, they're right there. They haven't expired yet. <laughs> but yeah, that trailer looked really um good. Interesting. We saw we see we saw Robin and Boot um Boot Hill. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go back. But I don't know why everything's like highlighted for some reason. Okay, there we go. <laughs> As I was saying, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Allow me to extend my sincere greetings to all our viewers. Welcome to the version 2.2 special program. Woo! Wait to weep. Long time no see, Albert. I heard you had a nice vacation. Oh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I did. The IPC offers wonderful employee benefits. Word on the street is you managed to save the universe during your break. Oh, Director Aventurine, you flatter me. What did he do? I just hopped out a little. It was nothing, really. Why not reward yourself with an extra day or two? And abandon this wonderful artist? Never. I miss them too much. Let's do some introductions, shall we? Greetings, viewers. It's a pleasure to be here on the special program. Black Swan. I am Black Swan. Queen. A memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Hello, everyone. Venturine. I'm Venturine from the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Hi, guys. I'm Robin. So happy to see everyone here. Oh, You're supposed to be whoa. dead. Why are you here? <laughs> Welcome to each of our special guests. Oh, thanks, Albert. There sure were a lot of interesting details in that trailer. <laughs> it's a pretty big lineup, isn't it? Dashing gunman at the beginning. Wonder what his deal is. Yeah, we're gonna learn more about that. That cowboy. That that robotic cowboy. We need to learn a lot. Definitely. Not yet. She ain't seen not to be dead here. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. I'm glad to see Sunday and Robin after everything that's happened. <laughs> there was also a place that looked like an opera house. Is that where the Charmony Festival is being held? Uh, uh, maybe. So many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm, perhaps we'll gain some insights into today's program. Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Hold on, Albert. Who exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title? Then wake to weep. Doesn't then sound like weep. a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Don't get Oh, we're gonna be getting Trump. We're gonna get we're gonna be getting traumatized. Yeah. Me, me are, I'm like, yeah, so far So far we can't trust anybody what it seems. Cause it's just something after the next with these um uh, with the main um storyline and I'm just like, we can't nobody at this point. 
So I'm like, yeah, this this last one, I think it is, is going to be some show putting us through some kind of turmoil. Some. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Get too hasty now. Uh, after experiencing two versions of Pentecone, I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover the truth behind the sweet dream. Yes. Since Miss Acheron split the family screen in Clock Studios theme park, it's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? No. <laughs> no. Meanwhile, things seem to be heading in a more favorable direction for Mr. Aventurine. Yeah. There's a secret within the family that goes deeper than any murder mystery. But with the clues we have so far, things don't really add up, right? How do you mean, Miss Robin? Mm -hmm. For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. What happened exactly? Mm, you know, Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death that's impossible, but dormancy. Hmm, a thought-provoking idea. And let me remind you, Himiko deciphered a secret passage in the invitation to the Charmony Festival. Mom Himiko. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacote, and thus the answer to the question, why does life? slumber so in other words you need to enter an impossible dormancy within a dream only then can you pull back the curtain and get closer to the watchmaker's legacy dormancy within a dream is that like a dream within a dream i think there's another possibility could it be referring to the other side of the dream just like Miss Acheron said at the end of version 2.1, Penacone, the true land of the exiles. Mm -hmm. No scratch? Bitch, you, you, bitch, you dead dead. Mm, not quite what it seems. They're not dead dead. We seen Firefly. Well, Sam. <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert if nobody didn't know. <laughs> and I just said it already. Sam, Firefly, same, same people, same thing. <laughs> same thing. Two and one. <laughs> and so Firefly not Firefly, Robin was wasn't dead after all anyway, too. So mm. <laughs> Oh, on that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map. Dream Flux Reef. Oh, the uh, new map. Can anyone guess what the connection might be? Hmm. Taking the name at face value. It's a reef that the dreamscape flows past. If the dreamscape can flow like water, then it should be flowing downhill. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? Trailblazers will have to discover the truth for themselves. All I can reveal is that entering this special domain will require ways and means. In version 2.2's main storyline, main story the pool always rings twice. Trailblazers will head to this new domain and reunite with some unexpected friends. <gasps> let's not forget. Unex we know who the unexpected friend is because we just seen him, in, obviously, in the trailer. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Get. The Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. But it probably might be more. The curtain will soon rise before guests from across the cosmos. Uh, the Charmony Festival. The family's guaranteed security has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. They say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle, and that a special talent show is going to be held to build up the hype. The talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, is sponsored by Soul Glad and will take place at the moment of Scorch Sand. The moment of Scorch Sand oh, so is pretty. Penacone's most festive moment. Guests partying all day long. Add in some malt flavored Soul Glad, and the atmosphere oh, is chess. second to none. Whew, that's right. This place was once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site of the festivity auditions after its reconstruction. 
The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Panacone's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes with all the bells and whistles, lighting, stage, effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for all contestants and audience members. In version 2.2, Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of Festive Superstar. Of course oh. we are. So you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival? Ah, no pressure. The renowned galactic baseballer is the center of attention, no matter where they go. So, how do the festivity auditions work, exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Panacone Grand Theater. That's right. The Grand Theater is Panacone's most recognizable landmark. If you win the title of Festive Superstar, you can take center stage and join the family in kicking off the Charmony Festival. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? <laughs> what do you say, Miss Robin? Maybe. Or maybe not. If I didn't have so much overtime, I could attend myself. Not the light. Now he had um, the lights. I forgot what they're called. So cute. Trailblazers! I'll be there with you in spirit. Don't mess it up now. <laughs> Another thing. In the scene we just saw, what were all those strange-looking characters in the theater? Watch who you're calling strange-looking. Those are official Charmony Festival personnel. <laughs> After all, the opening ceremony is just around the corner. There's still a lot oh, of those preparation people. to do. <laughs> well, they're unique. I'll give them that. It seems like some of them are holding glasses, and others are carrying knives. Those are violin balls. Oh. The members of the Sweet Dreams troupe, and they'll be playing an important role in the Charmony Festival. I see. They look a little on edge. Uh, perhaps they won the final of the auditions. Stage fright is serious, you know. Wait, I, I thought the Trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Aventurine, you're a sharp one, all right. <laughs> Let's just say that anything is possible. <laughs> we might not win. Next, let's introduce the leading roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Who? <laughs> it's Miss Firefly. No, it ain't. I mean, it's um Robin Chow. <laughs> I know my characters. Firstly, we have the singer Robin, whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin is no stranger to our viewers. Her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans from across the universe. No need to no, worry, Albert. I still have plenty to improve on. Oh, don't be so modest. And just so you know, Miss Robin, I'm a fan too. I've got so many collector's edition vinyls, I don't know where to put them. Whenever I'm up burning the midnight oil, your singing soothes my weary soul with a voice as soft as a feather. I appreciate the fanfare, Mr. Albert. But do you think maybe you're overworking yourself? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> the opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the limelight, Miss Robin. Mm -hmm. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. Or perhaps I should say, someone who's ready to spread their wings. Aren't we all, Miss Black Swan? Sometimes every bird is trapped in a cage, yearning to fly free and, and soar into the- uh, All right, Owlbert. We get the idea. <laughs> Albert, it's, it's getting a little too personal. I will fool you. It's her personally attacking Albert. <laughs> no, no, back to business. <laughs> From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we learned that during the preparations for the festival, she was the first to notice anomalies in Panacone and began to investigate the traitor in the family. 
In the process, she suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But seeing how Firefly has reunited with the Trailblazer, I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story for mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Secrets are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. But for now, let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. Yes, let's see Robin's gameplay. I'm excited. Because she's coming home, y'all. She's coming home. If you haven't seen, um, what is it? What is it called? You've been seeing me pull for, um, what's his name? Let me forget his name. He was my husband for that day of pulling him. Aventurine. <laughs> it will be up there in the annotations. Oh, yeah. Also, too, for the people who don't know, I am, this will be turning into a video, obviously. So, yeah, if you want to see me pull for, um, Aventurine, it's up there. <laughs> somewhere but yeah i um got really lucky and saved a lot of um what's it called a lot of um a lot of um seller jade i was like what they're called i about to say primos but I'm like that's the wrong game i saved a lot of seller jade for pulling for um adventuring so we got a lot of, so we, we got mom we can we gonna bag robin definitely she's no good she, she is not <laughs> Me getting adventuring, she's um a 50-50, just like he was. <laughs> so we just gonna hope. We do. <laughs> hey, curse. About time. Well, I'm a physical type character, following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Ooh. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. Oh, that is so... Wait, let me go back and see. That's so sick. Wait, go back. Let's find... Who thinks he's gonna wail? Well, I'm already gonna wail. I don't know. What it... <laughs> There's no bets. I am. <laughs> well, hopefully I won't have to if she comes home early. About time. Well... I'm a physical type character, following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. Oh, that is so sick. They follow her without attacking. Interesting. <clears throat> After entering battle against enemies in the dimension, I can also regenerate additional energy. Even enemies are captivated by Miss Robin's star status. <laughs> my forte is working in sync with my team. Offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example, which enhances the total damage inflicted by our team. Or my talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as a cosmic songstress. Okay. So, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she, Harmony, she's gonna be buffing the team. But let me go back and see. Hear that again. Forte is working in sync with my team. Offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example, which enhances the total damage inflicted by our team. Damage inflicted. Or my talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as a cosmic songstress, Miss Robin also integrates her songs into combat. When using her ultimate. And that's her all. It's so pretty. Miss Robin belts out a morale boosting number and enters a performative state. This state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. What? Everyone immediately takes action again? Oh, wow. Miss Robin is full of surprises. And how about that song? Now that's a tune I can fight to. We're going to be listening to her singing while in battle. I love it. I love it. I love, love it. <laughs> can I say, I love lifting spirits. When my ultimate is in play, I inflict additional damage on the enemy after each ally attack. Plus. Okay, so she attacks when she already when she ults, she attacks alongside the um with her allies. Okay. Yeah. I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. There's no period doubt. You. She too busy singing to get to be getting hit. <laughs> she too busy putting on a concert performance for us. So obviously, they won't be hitting her. Fully embody the path of harmony, Miss Robin. Spreading harmony has always been my mission. As a Luvian, 
I have the innate ability to transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo, which aligns perfectly with my path. Okay, that it, song. It Are there other ways to access it? I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle every time we want to hear it. As a matter of fact, our audience is also very curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking, for instance. Don't worry, don't worry. Miss Robin's upcoming album is right around the corner. She even took the opportunity to put together a special video for her fans. Mm? Play the tape. Not is she on Apple? <laughs> Funny. Hello, everyone. This is Robin. My new album, Inside, will be released on May 9th. I have three songs to share with you this time. Life is filled with worries and sorrows, but I hope that while listening to my songs, you can let go of them for a while. Long time no see. I'm <gasps> Serval, the lead singer queen. of the Bellabogian band Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about to be released. As a fellow musician, I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this time. Finally, on behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, I'd like to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? Hello, everyone. Her brother. I'm Sunday, representative of the family in Penacone. As a follower of the Harmony, Robin's powerful singing spreads harmonious melodies to all worlds. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside, will be officially released on May 9th. Yeah, I bet he got all... He know... He... <laughs> what am I saying? Um, he knows all the songs. Of course, because, of course, her brother, like, he had to, like, listen to them as well, make sure they're good as well. So I'm like, mm, lucky. We gotta wait to May 9th. And as her older brother, I am very grateful for all the support that Robin receives. Thank you. Tick-tock! I'm thrilled to be chosen as the fan Not representative clocky. to announce Robin's new album! <clears throat> Miss Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe. Mm, mm. The sound of her voice is so empowering. Mm. Let's all make sure to show our support for her newest album. Mm. Glow sticks. I just now realize they're called glow sticks. It, it, it hit me. The word was up there in my head. It's just where it was going to go. When it was going to come out of my mouth was the, the most important part. When, when it was coming. Mm. Hey, Gwaylings, check this out. Oh, what I've been. Miss Robin's new album will be released on May 9th. Little Gray is here to tell everyone that it'll definitely be amazing. You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, 一起期待他的新作品吧! What's up everyone? Jake Miller here. I heard Miss Robin's album is coming out soon and I'm so excited for it. I know her songs always bring many surprises. So let's look forward to her album together and I can't wait. See ya. Bye. ギンガの歌姫として何かアドバイスをとメッセージをいただいたんですけれどもいやいやいやもう私はアドバイスというよりはでもあのいつか歌姫同士なんかコラボができたら嬉しいなと思っておりますのでロビンさんぜひコラボ
of a building. This is the song on her her ultimate. We're gonna be hearing this one a lot, very much. demos feel free to leave me a comment i look forward to seeing you all officially on may 9th barbara i'm being i love it i absolutely love it can we fast forward to may 9th already i'm grateful for all the support to accompany the album i prepared a creator invite web event which aims to gather lovely melodies from all over the cosmos <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now that we've introduced Miss Robin, the next individual to take the stage is none other than Boot Hill. Boot Hill. <laughs> oh, goodness. What I'm going to be saying about this man, child. This robotic pixel of a man. It looks so good. Oh my god. That leg work. Plot that leg. That high kick, then boom. Love it. That lean back, the way he. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's his old. Sick, sick old. At the end of version 2.1, we heard this mysterious visitor's voice over the phone. He's currently <laughs> on his way over. Who is this Boot Hill? Where does he come from? <laughs> Glad you asked. Your Allow me to introduce him. Boot Hill is a galaxy ranger with a pretty unique turn of phrase. Oh, like muddle fudger, son of a nice lady. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Aside from being a galaxy ranger, Boot Hill is also a wild and unpredictable interstellar cowboy, a regular on the IPC's wanted list. Even so, there's talk that he also helped to resolve several serious incidents. Sounds like he's someone who plays both sides. Skirting the line between <laughs> good and evil. Precisely! He's in that great area. Very much. And also, too, could be hinting of him being a bisexual, but we won't go there. But, mm hmm, yeah. However, this dangerous gunslinging cowboy was put in his place at Penacone's Reverie Hotel when the front desk told him he couldn't check in. Galaxy Ranger. I think I know why he wasn't allowed to. Like what, Glitch? What are you talking about? Day. Oh, because Panacone already had another Galaxy Ranger checked in. <laughs> exactly. Talk about an awkward situation. That's why Boot Hill decided to visit the Astral Express, hoping to get some help from the nameless. I see. Oh, from us? But aren't Don Hong and Pom Pom the only ones currently on board the Express? Ooh, what's gonna happen? <sighs> Albert's favorite part of the show is not telling us stuff. Not yeah. true. Uh, let's take a look at what Boot Hill can do on the battlefield. As a cowboy roaming the galaxy, Boot Hill has his own combat philosophy. He targets a single enemy with his skill and initiates a duel. During the duel, Boot Hill taunts the enemy, thereby enhancing his own basic attack. Both parties in the duel suffer increased damage from each other. Whoa, a duel? I thought that only happened in the movies. Boot Hill prefers a straightforward approach to resolving conflicts, and this is reflected in his talent. Every time a dual target is defeated or their weakness is broken, 
Boot Hill gains a stackable enhancement. When Boot Hill uses his ultimate, he inflicts physical weakness. Look how he's standing in his ult. Like, come on now. Like, mm, 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 mm. A true cowboy. Yeet, yeet. On the enemy, deals damage and delays the target's action. And I like in his ult, when he um picks the wanted paper, he has a wanted paper in his hands, it has the enemy. So that's so sick. A little, little detail they added. So who um whatever um enemies he's targeting is gonna pop their picture up in the um in the wanted poster. I like that. And not him having the bullet in his his mouth. Like, come on, so sick. I just yes. cinematic ultimate. There's even a picture of the enemy on the wanted post. Mm-hmm. Me and Robin geeking out the same way. I'm like, yes. yes. Oh, look how he snaps back when he finish his shot. Like, come on. Cinematic ultimate. There's even a picture of. Look at him. Look at him. The enemy on the wanted post. He knows he's the shit. Poster. Locking onto the target and striking with precision. Such a dashing cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Is this the power of a galaxy ranger? This is the power of beating them at their own game. <laughs> Triumphing in duels makes Boot Hill stronger, and annihilating enemies leads to an overpowering evolution. Problems are dispatched in no time. And by problems, you mean people who present problems, right? Eh, same difference. When you're on every other wanted list, you've got to get things done by hook or by crook. I see. So, being a cowboy and all, does Boot Hill order milk when he's at the bar? <laughs> Not milk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you've taken the cow part too literally, Miss Robin. Well, he is a cowboy. Save a horse, ride a cowboy, which indeed, yes. Yes. <laughs> Again, all the puns I've been seeing of, of, of Mr. Sir here are like, mm hmm, yes. <laughs> I get that. I understand. <laughs> I understand <laughs> very much. <laughs> and also, too, the artwork I've been seeing as well. I'm just like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> keep it coming, keep it coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Not, not cracking up at me. Oh, goodness. Need some water. Yeah, happy. I, um, I do. I got some right here. I'm good. I'm going to drink some because I'm acting real thirsty. Yes. As I said, I didn't know what was going to be coming out of my mouth when we got the um, boot hill anyway. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, let me, let me drink some water. But if you didn't catch on to any of that, Boot Hill is coming home. He he's coming home as well. So there's no ends ends, but this cowboy <laughs> almost said something. Oh goodness. Yeah, he coming home. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Malt juice is more his speed. But isn't malt juice bad for you? Well, the IPC's files suggest that Boot Hill is prone to augmenting his fighting skills with invasive mechanical upgrades. For someone that's 90% machine, I'd say malt juice is the least of his concerns. 90%? Wait, 90%? He's 90%? Robot? So the other 10% of him is actually of whatever being of he is. <laughs> Let's say it over. <laughs> Now I'm coming on you. Mm -mm. Dang, I forgot how I was gonna say it. If I, I was gonna say it, I, le I legit already. Um, wait, what? Yeah, I already forgot it. <laughs> I'll see if I remember it later. But it would be good if I could remember it now. <laughs> wait. Oh, I remember. Oh goodness, I um, I remember. I remember it. <laughs> we um, 
we are for sure going to be riding this cowboy very much when he comes out and when he unreleased we will the stream <laughs> the stream the title of the um the polling session will be legit um save a horse and ride a cowboy because we will be riding him <laughs> very much yeah. happy i said it moving swiftly on <laughs> aside from the two characters we've already introduced there's another special guest in version 2.2. One who's Ooh. set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Who? Oh, that. Not it, not it dropping music notes. Uh, you said they're also performing at the Charmony Festival? Correct. Are we sure they're not aiming to sabotage the festival? <laughs> well, that depends on who you're teaming up with. Good thing our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. To ensure this show goes off without a hitch, I brought along some detailed intel on Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Once in battle, Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus, charges and unleashes Semi-Chorus, which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on a single ally. In the second phase of battle, after charging up, the Great Septimus uses Chorus, dealing damage to all allies. Plus, all of the Great Septimus active summons will also deal extra damage to all allies. During the second phase, the Great Septimus casts a shield on themselves, decreasing the damage they take and boosting the damage they cause to all allies, no, while possible. making their own toughness impervious to damage. Then there isn't a third phase, right? In the third phase! What is a third phase? <laughs> oh my god. This formidable foe becomes even stronger unleashing defense ignoring attacks that deal massive damage to all allies oh nice a challenging adversary indeed of course you clip so, that are there any tricks we can use to of course of course you clip that <laughs> yeah mm. save a horse ride a cowboy to defeat it during battle Trailblazers need to quickly target and break the weaknesses of the Great Septimus and its summons. Once all the summons' weaknesses are broken, the Great Septimus won't be able to use its semi chorus ability. Just and in the case, what? The chorus will be significantly reduced. Breaking the Great Septimus' weakness will also grant a shared shield to all allies. Now that I think about it, this version's promotional artwork gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony no Festival's reason. main act all along. Oh, poor trailblazers. Did you think you were coming to Panicone for a vacation? It's yeah, we thought. We thought. We thought we were, but no. We just we, we came for more just traumatic events. <laughs> just and just getting whooped into some warped into something. But I guess that is the whole point of the trailblazing, just trailblazing into things and into the unknown. Uh, even though we were invited here. <laughs> is this what people mean when they say rules are made to be broken? Huh. Why can't I see a baseball bat? There's no flaming lance either. Just a hat. <laughs> what observant guests we have today. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for Trailblazers to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, Echo of War, Salutations of Ash and Dreams will become available. Complete this. Oh, Ro I know Robin. I don't know, but uh, I think Boo Hill will be using those materials as well. I think, I don't know. But yeah, we know Robin gonna be using those. For sure, but Boo Hill probably. Don't call me on that if that's not true. This challenge to obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material. Lost Echo of the Shared Wish. 
trailblazers in need of new materials should remember to save up on their weekly Echo of War rewards. And heads up, trailblazers. Miss Robin's advanced trace level up material is past evils of the borehole planet disaster. Oh, why she uses those? Okay, so, okay, good thing they clarified that right now. Why she use those? You, it would make more sense she used the other new ones. I was like, it would make more sense if she used the other new ones. But oh, okay. So I wonder if Boo Hill going to be using the new ones then. <laughs> they just keep wanting us to fight this, the swarm for some reason. I'm just like, <laughs> the swarm, <laughs> that, that, that's an intense. So they get, um, try to get those materials. That, oof. If you don't have the like right built characters, you will get annihilated so hard. Trying to get the, trying to get this, like, oof. <laughs> Make sure you don't go chasing the wrong materials. Next up, we have- Ooh, the event wishes. We love it. Phase one, we got Robin and, oh. <laughs> Topaz and Numbi. They're, uh, she um, rerunning. And then of course we got March. I forgot her name and I forgot her name as well. The four stars. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but okay. Robin in the first half. Obviously, she's coming home. Uh, Topaz, I'm gonna have to get you another time, girl, because I can't get three characters that I, I could, but I'm like We've got banner information for version 2.2. .2. In 2.2's first half warp event. Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Robin, as well as the limited five-star duo, Topaz and Numbi. Doopy. Not to mention the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone, blowing night glow, and... <laughs> you, yes, I am. Because I got to get a cowboy to ride. So I'm like, I can't. Robin going to take up most of my stuff. But hopefully she comes home early. But I won't be going for her light cone. I, I'm not going to go for a light cone. I'm, I'm good on this. <laughs> Limited light cone. Worrisome Blissful will be boosted. In 2.2 second half warp event. Oh, there's our cowboy. Yeet, yeet. We got Boot Hill and we got Foo. Oh, Foo. I, I got Foo already, so I don't have to worry. And then we got Pela. Luca, Luca, I think Luca. Luca, Luca. Mm -hmm. We got a mate. Is that his name? And we got um, Hook. Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character of Boot Hill. The esteemed master diviner Fu Xuan will also be available in this banner lineup. At the same time, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone. I probably will probably try to go for his weapon. Yeah, I probably might try to go for his weapon. For him. For the cowboy I will be riding, I need to get his light cone. For sure. And I already have Fu light cone and it's me. Well, Fu, I feel like Fu, Fu, since we don't have like many HP, well, yeah preservation characters her like home i feel like for me was necessary to get for her her siggy because it was good for hp which she scales off of so i'm like mm -hmm. but boo hill is just all for mm -hmm, i'm getting his he he gonna be probably doing big he probably can do big damage with other um uh, hunt like cones but i want his siggy i want his siggy for my for my pleasure I'm um, see. I can try to get that for him. My cowboy needs it very much. <laughs> yeah. Cone sailing towards a second life, and the light cone she already shut her eyes will be boosted. Looks like Boot Hill is in the middle of another mechanical upgrade. And it seems like he already shut his eyes too. <laughs> oh yeah, they're. Oh, I just now realized that. Adventuring just spotted it. They both had their eyes shut. <laughs> it's funny. Uh. <sighs> and I almost.
almost forgot to mention. If that doesn't say gay, I don't know what else does says it. That is this is Black Swan and Akron dancing. And it looks like Akron's in a suit. Lesbians. Where am I thinking? Let's go lesbians. Let's go lesbians. Let's go lesbians. Let's go. Here we go, lesbians. This light cone just says it all without obviously saying, like, look at them dancing. Like, come on. And I know a bunch of other people who play Honkai will be pointing, this, pointing it out. I'm like, girlfriends. Girlfriends. Like, you can't deny this. You cannot deny it. The brand oh, and it's Nihility, too. A new four-star Nihility Light Cone Boundless Choreo will also be included in this warp. Is that Acheron dancing with Black Swan? Mm -hmm. Her outfit seemed totally different this time. What happened? Some memories are better left unexplored. Not her fucking keeping it. She's like, we can't tell. Shh. Not her keeping it secret. They can't say nothing about it. Obviously, uh, but like, but at least they know. <laughs> we know. We all know. But obviously, they can't say. But we know. Lesbians. Lesbians. Yes. Y'all. Y'all think. <laughs> Time for a short break. In just a few moments, we'll be introducing version 2.2's brand new events. I think this is the second code. If you didn't get it, right there. Hopefully it didn't um, expire yet. <laughs> but obviously if you've seen this at a different time, it's obviously long gone, so to be used. Between Trapper, Newbie, and Cowboy, a robot, you, a robot, you. That will open. Oh my goodness. Worn out. You forgot about Lightweaver and um, Overwatch. And mostly, he is, he is 90% for your information, 90% robot. Other uh, 10%, and mostly, okay, and he's a robot? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you like, him being a robot is, is something. <laughs> you, forgot about, you forgot about Detroit Becomes Human? <laughs> that didn't stop them. Oh yeah, slight weaver, yes, my man. Not power. Oh my god. Welcome back everyone. Time to dive straight into version 2.2's events. To kick things off, let me introduce Clocky Dream Joy Memoir. As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, the screen at Clock Studios theme park was split in two. Oh yeah, Akron, you did that. To restore the park to its former glory, trailblazers must take on the crucial task of repairing the screen. But it wasn't the trailblazers who broke the screen. Uh, but we always end up doing stuff that we, we we didn't have any part of doing. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, the screen wasn't the intended target, was it, Mr. Aventurine? Yes. <laughs> anyway. The Nameless should be congratulated on their admirable screen-fixing spirit. In the Clocky Dream Joy Memoir event, Trailblazers are tasked with directing and editing films. Films that do well in test screenings will increase the park's box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin, I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. <laughs> As a professional international peace media host, I'm of the opinion that skillful editing can enhance a film's pace and emotional impact. In this artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, comedic, 
or dramatic. Each pill must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screening. Oh, as they gain more recognition, Trailblazers will also have the opportunity to create commercials. Plus, they'll have the chance to explore the spin-off stories of supporting characters. <laughs> exactly. Successfully editing a classic ending grants you side character spin-off reels, <laughs> thereby revealing their corresponding extra stories. From mixology to directing, the Trailblazers have once again unlocked new skills in Penacony. Yeah, we're a jack of all trades, aren't we? But isn't this more like editing than directing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. During the editing process, Trailblazers have the chance to experiment with different plot directions and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Oh. Great stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory, weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. Agreed! And after finishing the specified missions, Trailblazers will be rewarded with the event light cone for tomorrow's journey. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's a harmony. Will this be good for um Robin? Since I'm skipping out on her skipping, since I'm skipping out on her Siggy. Ah, uh, it looks like a story that took place at some point on the express. That's Pom Pom. They're toasting and celebrating with nameless of the past. Yesterday's oh. memories still linger. And while the conductor's companions may have changed, the trailblaze never ceases. Moving on, let's delve into the domain of the Galactic Baseballer. Funded by Giovanni, the legend of the Galactic Baseballer is set to undergo an exciting round of testing in version 2.2. Ah, oh, the same Giovanni from Ethereum Wars? That's right. After the success of Ethereum Wars, Giovanni has decided to sponsor a brand new game project in Pentacody. It is said that deep within the vast cosmos, the strongest baseball bat lies hidden. To find this bat, the galactic baseballer decides to leave home, embarking on an extensive search to locate the treasure. There are many factions interested in this bat, and the galactic baseballer must endure many challenges and defeat many foes in order to progress on. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail the galactic baseballer needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level up their team. Precisely. Oh. After the team levels up, they can choose one of three random weapons or accessories. The weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. Every weapon has a corresponding resonant accessory. My advice is to focus on leveling up weapons first. After achieving max level with the weapon and if in possession of its resonant accessory, the weapon can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic baseballer's fighting capabilities. Complete each planet's challenges, earn raccoon tokens to enhance your fighting skills, and accumulate cosmic reputation, which can be exchanged for rewards. Oh, the little raccoons in this event are so cute! And each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to join in the fun. How about our three guests make a prediction? Will the galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat? <laughs> I think the name Galactic Baseballer might be a giveaway. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on. Our next event is called All About Boot Hill. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and how exactly will everything be showcased? Yes. In this segment, we've adopted a character profile approach. You won't see Boot Hill, but oh. you'll hear all about his legendary exploits. Well, rumor has it that Boot Hill has recently been involved in some major heists, with many entities, including the space station, suffering losses. I hear the IPC and others are planning to put a bounty on his head. 
With so many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. When C. Chi from the space station thinks the Trailblazers are well suited to the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. The Trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, not exactly. Yeah. More like a get rich quick scheme with friends. During not get rich <laughs> quick scheme with friends. I cannot. During the event, the Trailblazers will have to complete various different assignments and gather more information on Boot Hill in exchange for assignment rewards. All I have to say is. Oh, that's just it. Oh, that's just it for that. Oh, I thought it'd be more. We just gonna learn. They probably just gonna be telling us information about him. Oh, okay. Thank you. There'll be more to that. When she Chi. Profiting okay. from assignments is one thing, but no underhanded tactics. Understood. <laughs> of course. Besides the fun events, version 2.2 presumably also has the nail biting. Gifts of Oasis. They keep on giving. They keep on just. They just keep on. What, what's the word I'm looking for? They just keep on. Um. Feeding us. They just keep on feeding us with these lovely special passes. Like every every patch of like they just been giving us gifts of Oasis, and I'm like, thank you. However, thank you. Spare my wallet. Spare it. Because they're going to need it with this patch since I'm getting two characters in different phases. Thank you. Thank you. The hair raising. Dead warp chicken! <laughs> Yay! I know a majority of these are going to be used for um Boot Hill. Robin, no. Boot Hill, yes. Ah, Trailblazers, don't forget to log in and claim your head. Let's also not forget that version 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge will, oh. will grant you the character ascension materials, IPC work. Physical characters, is that for? Permit for Robin and Boot Hill. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I won't be able to, um, well. I will be able to level up him. Well, well, um, boot hill fast then. Okay. Cause he's going to be coming in second phase. This is going to be coming in when it drops the update, but Robin, I'm going to have to like wait a little bit, um, level her up then since I got a farm it right then there when it drops. So, okay. Well, given the relationship between the family boot hill and the IPC, I must say this Ascension material is very specific. No. We'll see at the sunset. Then Boot Hill, pistol in hand, charged into the IPC. Bang, bang, bang! 65 gunshots later, he was back out again with 65 work permits. All for his own personal enhancement. The IPC work permit is only used by senior employees. Mr. Albert, do you have one? You're a senior employee? Oh, Albert. Me? <laughs> well, I... Senior is a big word, but I suppose I, uh... <laughs> All right, we get it. Now, Calyx Butter the Hunt will also be available in version 2.2. Completing challenges rewards you with the Meteoric Bullet Huntress material. Uh, which Boot Hill I'm probably be using, okay. Double events, Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty are also back. Successfully challenging the simulated universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Yeah, it's double. Sure you take on the challenge, Trailblazers. Up next is the third redemption code. The last one.
Welcome back, folks. Let's get into a few system optimizations, shall we? Oh. First up, a new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. Meanwhile, on the friendless interface, you can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> For example, whether they're currently in the simulated universe, the Forgotten Hall, etc. That's right. And in the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction, you can now see your friends' lineups as well as display your own lineups to your friends. Oh, that's so neat. Naturally, this is an optional function that can be turned on or off at will. Yes, Version 2.2 will also bring in an improved team setup function, making it easier for Trailblazers to view the status of all setups. Oh, that's good. There's also a new feature to tag characters, which ensures that... <laughs> tag your fave character. <laughs> Tag characters are pinned at the top of the character bar. Ah, Trailblazers will be able to prioritize their most frequently used and favorite characters. Yep. All time is money. That should make going into battle all the more convenient. Yeah, because sometimes I'd be going through the list. I'm like, oh, wait, where's that character? And I misclick or click the wrong character on accident. I'm like, yeah, that's going to be definitely commandy. But then the characters you most use to the top. Expect continuous improvements to the team setup function in future versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the digital version of the Ultimate Trailblazers Guide to Pentacony is officially out. The book includes behind the scenes stories of the Star Rail team creating Pentacony, exclusive Ooh. interviews with the animated shorts team, and features original artwork from the shorts, a flash, and icor of two dragons. Trailblazers can view it on the official website or download the PDF version. Don't miss out. Oh, nice. It would have been neat if they had like an actual hard, like a hard copy. A hard copy of a guide. I mean, not a hard copy. Well, you could print out the PDF files. But I'm like, it would have been like, mm. kind of like a little book form. Be neat. You can like have it like for display or something. That'd be neat. With so much awesome content. Is it really all for free? You better believe it. We love for free. In that case, I'll be taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the version 2.2, then Wake to Weep special program. Oh, we done. Ooh. Okay. Man, I can't wait to see the Charmony Festival. Here's hoping that 2.2 story provides Trailblazers with an unforgettable experience. Yes. I hope that when the truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon all of Panacone. Here's wishing another very happy birthday to the Astral Express. I eagerly await our next encounter. I'd like to say a big thanks to our three guests. Oh, and a final reminder to all Trailblazers. Don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 stellar jades and 10 fuels from your mailbox. Mm-hmm, already collected those. They gave us a whole ten pole in the um in our mailbox for the anniversary, which was so neat. Um, I seen on Twitter some people got their um got um either a character they wanted or a light cone they wanted with those extra ten poles they gave. So lovely. And that is well and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. It's over. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, huh? Wait, I. Oh, right. Not yet. <clears throat> I have one final announcement to make. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screens. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Knife is coming up on the Hoyo Fair channel following this program. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. Now it's over. But wait, let me, I'm trying to see something real quick. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, hey, Samoan. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that was it. For the um Hawkeye Sorrow 2.2 special program. But yeah, it was really good. Really, really good. Cannot wait, obviously, for Miss Robin. Can't wait for her to be singing uh singing to us in battle when she ults every time. We love the concert. And also too can't wait to um obviously <laughs> can't wait to ride my cowboy. Boot hell when he come, when he um phase two getting him and trying to get his light cone. So that could be neat. So hopefully um next week y'all not next week. The week after next week, the following week, because that's when the update drops. Y'all gonna be seeing me pull for um Robin, so stay tuned. And as I said, for um people who watch this on YouTube. The last um pulling sesh for Honkai Saro, obviously up there in the annotations. Pulling for um Adventurine. It was amazing. The pulls went so delightful. You wanna go see that? It's up there if you want to. And also any other polls of mine will be up on uh is already up on the channel. So you can see Genshin ones or Honkai ones. So yeah. <clears throat> And so until the next special program, which is either, which is probably going to be Genshin's and a few, which even though Genshin just released the um, their version already just, but until the future special program about y'all.